Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Today we're going to discuss the possibilities of who the White Sox might draft in the coming Major League draft. And the draft will be held July 11th and 12th. But it's going to be different this year. This year, the draft will only be five rounds. Say what? Now I know what question you're probably asking yourself. Oh, you think you know, but you don't know. And you never will. Well, actually I don't. But to answer the possible question you might be asking yourself is, how many rounds is the Major League Baseball draft usually? Well, the answer turns out to be 40. So this year it's going to be five, but usually it's 40. Turns out that because of the pandemic this year, Major League Baseball is only going to do five rounds. Now, they didn't want to do any. The owners didn't want to have any draft this year at all. But the Players Association said that they had to have a draft and that it had to be at least five rounds. So the owners, being the owners, said, okay, it'll just be five rounds. So apparently after the five rounds are over, every team can sign whatever player they can find if they get to them first, first dibs, and pay them just a $20,000 signing bonus. So, or pay them $20,000 or something around there. I'm not sure, but anyway, you get the gist. It's only gonna be five rounds this year. So that will bring us to the discussion of who might the White Sox draft within those five rounds. Now there are a few names being bandied about. Um, I got this information from a podcast by uh, uh, Chuck Garfine um, on uh, NBC, SN, Chicago. And he was talking with Jim Callis, who was his guest star on the podcast. So um, one possibility is, um, well, it depends on whether the White Sox will go high school or whether they're going to go college. And remember, there's just five rounds. So if they go high school, some possibilities are Tyler Soderstrom out of, uh, he's a catcher out of uh, Turlock High School. He's a bat first, not very good defensive catcher. Um, then there's Ed Howard who is probably the highest rated shortstop in the draft. And um, he is also a high school player. And uh, interesting about him, his um, um, idol is Tim Anderson. So it would be an interesting story if the White Sox ended up taking him. Again, probably the best shortstop prospect in the draft but a high schooler. As far as college guys go, uh, the two names that they mentioned there were um, Reed Detmers, left-handed starting pitcher out of Louisville, throws 90 to 94 miles per hour and has an awesome curveball by all reports. Might wanna go look him up. Apparently there is some footage out there of him throwing a wicked a wicked curve. So um, he's a possibility. And then also Patrick Bailey, catcher out of North Carolina State. He's a switch hitter and he is a very good defensive catcher. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, so we'll have to see what the White Sox decide on. Um, it'll be very interesting to see whether they go the high school route, whether they go the college route. 
Um, one thing that Jim Callis did mention, and he said it's a strategy that most major league teams adhere to, is that you take the best player available when your spot comes up. And oh, by the way, the White Sox pick 11th overall. But you pick the uh, best player available, not for need, because it isn't the NBA, it isn't the NFL, these players are not going right to the major league, the major leagues and being plugged in at some spot on the major league roster. They're going to spend time in the minors and that time could be as long as four years. So you don't pick for need right now because you don't know what your team's makeup is going to look like in four years anyway. And, um, you want to have the best player available and then if you don't need that best player available guy when three or four years goes by you can trade him to another club for a need at that time if somebody else has a young guy at the position that you have the need so we'll have to see it'll be very interesting to see what they do i'm not a big fan of the Major League Baseball draft. Um, I was made a fan of the NFL draft this last year. It was very interesting, but I still can't get really interested in the White Sox draft. But it's the only White Sox news going on right now, so I thought I would bring it to everyone's attention.